everybody and welcome to another edition of Where the Heck Are the Albans and Where the Heck Are the Albans? We are in Cedarburg, Wisconsin and we are at Oktoberfest. There it is behind us right there. So let's check out Oktoberfest, shall we? Yes. Uh, we got the great German band. I like that picture right there. I got a photograph of that pig nose coming through the. Look at that. Find your name. Out of curiosity, I just want to see the head. There's a guy over here that does bracelets and things with your name on it. Never find Vivian or Emerson's name on anything. He had them both. <laughs> and the correct spelling. What's up? What's that? The Glockenspiel? Oh, the, the mugs. Yeah. You gotta find out where they get the mugs. Official festival t-shirts for sale. 16 bucks. and the nut man is here. There's the salt guys. Look at roasted garlic. All the good salts. How you doing? Good, how are you? Good. This information desk. How you doing guys? Good, how are you? Good. It's not as they have five festivals a year. They have, they have five a, festivals? They have a Christmas festival, they have a winter festival, a Wine Festival, Good afternoon, October and Fest, and then there's another one again. Strawberry Festival. Oh, that's fun. Just in this town alone? This town. Wow. That's cool. Our guest is. Fest festival strawberries. Celebrating strawberries. Okay, so we got 25 minutes, and we're going to get a Glockenspiel show. Oh, they got Christmas ornaments over here. Yellow dog treats. Becky, these are all dog treats. Yes, I know. That our dogs fight over them. Yeah. But and they, eat they the, look the fantastic. The nastiest, most nasty ones on my bed, so. Yeah, that's true. We'll take one of them big old bones and put them right on our bed. <laughs> Bath yes. bombs. I like these for your, like, your mom or something. Isn't that not cute? So from the Gnomes Need Homes, those are wine bottle toppers. We, uh, we bought one for my mother-in-law for Melody. Everybody knows Melody from the trips. And uh, show us, Becky. Show us what we got. Said it might go to her, it might stay with me. <laughs> it goes on a wine bottle. Yeah, but isn't that cute? Look at that. Oh there God, it is. All right. right now it's staying with me. I, I, I decided I'm not gifting it. But oh, I, come I, on. No. <laughs> so from the Gnomes Need Homes, they make people smile. those are wine bottle toppers. We, uh, we bought one for my mother in law for Melody. Everybody knows Melody from the trips. And uh, show us, Becky. Show us what we got. Like I said, it might go to her. It might stay with me. <laughs> it goes on a wine bottle. Yeah, but isn't that cute? Look at that. Oh there God, it is. Beer. All right. Right now, it's staying with me. I, I, I decided I'm not gifting it. But oh, I, come I, on. No. <laughs> so, what we're basically doing is we're picking up a milk crate with a claw mechanism that just reaches out and grabs it. And then it can double its height with the elevator system. So that's. will move on its own, as well as this taller carriage. So 
this one here can move up. Oh, wow. As well as the entire okay. thing. So I can go, okay. So. Ah, look at that. All the way down, all the way up, about double its height. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's awesome. And you guys built this. Yep. Yeah. Built in six weeks. We went to the World Championship scratch. last year with this one. That That's is awesome. awesome. Yeah, in Detroit. Every year we get a different the CHS Robotics year. team. Uh, so it took us six weeks to completely Very design, cool. 3D design, come up with ideas, build it, manufacture it, program it, wire it up, make it work, and test it, make sure we know how to run it. And that's about that. That's really great. Yeah. That is Congratulations. awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Good job. Are interested in entering a raffle to win a crawl? Sure. Support. the original sales, but since it's close to Halloween, Sal is wearing a, a candy skull. <laughs> I like this little gorgeous little house here. It's actually a museum. How would you pronounce that, Beck? The Kufus? The Kufus? It's a house museum from 1849. Fiddlehead's Coffee. Ooh, look at that. Little Boxster. Isn't that cool? That was Dylan McKay's car. That was. That's from 90210. <laughs> I wanted to get Dylan McKay in it. But no. Well, it might be today. <laughs> no tricks, just treats. Is that a pumpkin spice latte? Look at this. Small town, big love. Hashtag Cedarburg loves. Big love ball. Barn sale. Look at this quaint little town. Isn't this great? We're trusting souls. They said, hey, turn down this alley. So we turned down this alley. Ooh, it smells good over here. <laughs> it smells like cake and pumpkin pie and stuff. <laughs> Oh, look at that. It's chip and dip set, huh? Yeah. $8. Oh, <laughs> we have one. <laughs> I know. I just found him in the garage when I was looking for the Halloween Excellent. stuff. How about that? That's what? Creepy. He's creepy. He's 60s Santa. <laughs> so you'll never believe what Vivian has gotten into. She was searching songs about sunshine and things like that. And I said, hey, there is a great song about sunshine. And it's done by a group called the Brady Kids. You might want to look at it. And so we looked it up on YouTube and it was the Brady Bunch. And it was, it's a sunshine day. That one, right? I think I'll go for a walk outside now. So, she checked it out, and now, on Hulu, uh, they have every single episode of The Brady Bunch. And guess who has started watching it? <laughs> and so you're good. almost done with season one, aren't I you? I am done with season one. You are one. done with season I'm one. I'm season two now. And she loves it. She loves The Brady Bunch. Love and now that. we have some, Becky and I have something that we can bond over with well, Vivi. Vivi and I have already bonded over Golden Girls. Oh, Golden yeah. Girls, that's true. Yeah. Oh, so but her now and I, we'll have to take her over to see what's his face's grave that's not too far from That's her. right. Robert yes. Reeve is actually, Robert Reed that played uh, Mike Brady, the dad, uh, is actually buried not too far from where we live. And uh, we'll uh, take her over and pay our respects to the father of uh, the Brady Bunch. What are we looking at here? My well, mascara ran and I'm counting it as exercise. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. A Wisconsin Christmas. A partridge in a sugar maple tree, two ice kringles, three fried foods, four brewing beers, five golden rounds, six fests of celebrating, seven sleds of sliding or sledding. 
eight cheese heads cheering, nine brewers batting, ten floats a floating, eleven packers leaping, and twelve brats a barbecue. That's awesome. If you can't say something nice, come sit by me. I have to say, I love your jacket. Thank you. That's Becky and I saying to each other right there. I say that constantly. <laughs> Those are the little plastic holders for chopsticks if you don't know how to use chopsticks. Which I don't. You put these on the end of your chopsticks and it holds them open and close and then you just squeeze them. And uh, then you can do chopsticks. So that store was called Just Poppy Inn. That was an awesome little store. <laughs> so they got this place called From the Heart. Look at all the wand decorations and the, pretty, I like the wreaths, the berry wreaths, I like the witch's hats. This is cool. I think this is a and b this Washington House Inn, the Schroeder House. You are loved. You are loved. Oh my goodness, look at this. Amy's Andy Kitchen. You go ahead. <laughs> look at that. This one's cashews and peanuts. Oh my goodness. Just that's good enough, right? That's good enough, right? Just caramel. Yeah. Right? yeah. I, I don't I'm not to be fancy. I can't eat any. There's salted caramel. No, you there. can't. <laughs> so and I don't you know can't have any with your braces, so so mommy and I'll just have to eat one in front of you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah no. <laughs> so at the Rivioli, they're playing Ant Man and the Wasp, which has been out on DVD and stuff Who cares? for about a month, right? No. No, but that's great. I mean, because they're they're playing kind of like second run of a movie um, for not a lot of money. You can go see your uh, Rivioli, Rivioli, getting into Formioli. Isn't You're drunk. Like SpongeBob? <laughs> that's from SpongeBob. It is from SpongeBob, isn't it? So this is what it looked like in 1855. It was a clothing store. It was still a clothing store. I got eight or er, nineteen oh nine. That's when they started building on to it. 1912, it was clothing and dry they, goods. They had a big and sale. And then they turned in, in 1936, they turned it into a theater. Look at that sign. Into the rabbit. And then these are some of the, the changes it went through. 48. And it was comfortably cooled. I always loved that. And then just kind of looked like a plain old cinema in 64. And then they re added the neon in 2008. And so there's the, the sign that they added in 2008. And they're playing Ant-Man now. Ant-Man and the Wasp. $3.50. $3.50 movies. Look at that. That's awesome. This over here, Beck. Love it. I like a little camper. Yeah, we could live in that, you think? I think so. Yeah. Becky and I's dream one day is to have a RV and travel the country. So even though our dreams are of a bigger RV, this is probably what we're going to wind up with. <laughs> we were more like a camper, like a camping, like yeah. family. <laughs> I don't want any one of those big buses. No. I just want one of those, like, like a 35-footer. It would be perfect. Got a little kitchen inside, a little table area. You know, can turn it into a bed, and then, uh, but then the the back little bedroom and a little bathroom, small refrigerator, microwave, something like that. That's the simple life. We'll sell the house, we'll just travel the country. That's what I want to do. Of course, that won't be for several more years, 
as the girls have to get out of the house. Which they refuse to do. They refuse yeah. to do. The oldest one even refuses to get out of the house. And guess what? I'm 13 years old and can't get out of the house. You can't get out of the house. We'll keep you for a little while. Yeah. You're not cooked yet, but... <laughs> Dinner, so you're still legally ours for at least five more years so but you're almost 14. Five more years? You have 13 days. Before you have 13 days until you're 13 days and then she's going to be 14 years old. How the heck did that happen? Uh, I don't know. I don't know either. <laughs> So we are on Washington Avenue in the historic district. And even before Cedarburg incorporated in 1885, the community thrived with mills, shops, hotels, churches, and residents, many of which remain in Cedarburg's commercial center as part of the Washington Avenue historic district. So got over 100 properties down the up and down. We got a nice cultural center here. Do you want to hear a poem? What's a poem? Roses are red, uh -huh. violets are blue. I thought Voldemort was ugly, but then I saw you. <gasps> <gasps> they do a gothic history tour. Lost Exacto. Pleasures of Cedarburg, the last resort. Next Friday, next Saturday, and next Sunday. That's kind of cool. Becky, you need to drink more Blatt's beer. All right. The Stonewall Pub. It is a dog-friendly establishment. Look at that. Look at all these great historical buildings. This is the Gustav building. There's another good, uh, oh, look at that car. That's kind of awesome. But there's another great uh, shot of that sign that they, the neon sign that they restored and had put up in 2008. Enough is just a little bit more. The local barber shop. The Cutchins. The Pink Llama Gallery. The Cedarburg Woolen Mill, Textile Museum, and the Piano Loft. Look at all this place is over here. Yeah. We can walk over there. So look at this place. Carl Sheft, an attorney. <laughs> There's the attorney's building, but outside in this little house here on the corner, they have a craft store. I like this Beware Little Goblins look at it. Look at all their buckets, those are cool. If I was this lawyer, I'd be a very happy lawyer because to get to my office, I would have to walk through all of this every day. And I think this that's just cool. I like these little guys with the little propeller butts. <laughs> oh, it's like when pigs fly. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> the weeds garden. What a neat little place. I like the little kitchen sink. Or the little bathroom sink. Besides that spider. I like this meditating frog here. Look at him. He would he's fit so very cool. well on a she shed, except he's huge. I mean, he wouldn't. Look at this. Oh, I like him. He's a little monster and he's ripped the pink flamingo in half. That's weird. These guys are so cool. Spider going on there. Very awesome. No. Are we going in? I am. All right. This is the Weeds store. I am in love with these guys up here. Look at this. I and mean, you're carrying the gnome away. You should make one. Right, check this out. They're different cups with like different noses on it. It's called Pick Your Nose. So you could be. 
a toucan, a leopard, a chameleon, a beaver, a zebra, or a shark. That is awesome. Look at these air plant holders. This one's my favorite back here. I like this guy. I like him. Oh, hello. All right, Kevin. Very zen turtle there, too. Well, it kind of reminds me of something from the Dark Crystal. I don't know why. So across the street over there is a, it's the beautiful City Hall. Across there, that's that building right across. Becky and Vivian went into Ashley's Confectionaries. They went to fall in love with their seasonal treats. In that store, yeah. they have turtles, but instead of having like a walnut or a pecan for the stuff, they have yeah. their espresso bean turtles. Oh, espresso bean turtles. Yeah, I'm contemplating. <laughs> Downtown dough, cookie cutters, baking supplies, and frozen dough. Frozen dough? Yeah, I didn't even know. They're open. That. <laughs> Look, they got a little apple machine. Look at the pie, uh, the pie crust shield. Mm -hmm. That's kind of cool. I like those mixing balls. Oh, I like all their like, balls, yeah. They have been around for 20 years. This is their 20th anniversary in downtown Doe. Remember Good for them. Woo, look at this. Oh, $1,375. <gasps> Wait a minute. $99.98. Look at this Bigfoot. There's a smaller one. We do have a smaller one. But he's, that'd be kind of small foot. <laughs> I like big foot. <laughs> How would you get him home? I don't know. We'd figure it out. The time to the top of the truck. So I like the dragon on That's awesome. This is a grill. It's a, like a smoker. <laughs> it's a smoker, yeah. It's a big bowl. Does smoke come out of his nose? <laughs> yes. And his eyes. And his eyes. Awesome. It's like one of those medieval torture devices. Look at the Batman minion. <laughs> I like all these old houses. They turned into businesses, but... These are very cool. The August Weber House. Wine bar, lounge, featuring the original Cedarburg. Cheesery. They got a cheesery and it's for sale. So, unfortunately, there is no cheesery there. <laughs> the building is now for sale. It was established in 1865. And now it is for sale in 2018. <laughs> I like her. Becky likes her over there. Look at this. I like these witches. These are great. Look at the little, yeah, the little witches on the, oh, the little flower pots. How oh, cute. So this is the uh, the Streeter or the Cedar Creek Settlement. This is specialty shops and it's a winery in there too. Look at that. Old. It's like an old factory building or something. That's great. Look at this uh, beautiful mural. Historic Cedarburg, Wisconsin. Isn't that gorgeous? It's almost, I think they got a covered bridge here somewhere, Becky. Or at least they must because. No, I think that's the bridge that we were on that used to be Oh, there. maybe I thought that was the bridge that we were on. No, that's the one. That's the bridge that's we were on. We'll take you back there because we didn't show you that bridge. So here's the actual winery, the Cedar Creek Winery. It's part of the Cedar Creek settlement. Olive Sprig Jewelry Works. So I just can't help myself. I'm in love with this town. I think this town is just awesome. A lot of history here, a lot of old buildings. And look at this around this corner. I almost tripped and fell on my butt. Look at this place with the ivy. Old barn. The Shinery. Moonshine Gift Shop. 
the umbrella is half the sign is missing, so it just says shine every day. <laughs> Actually says moonshine sampling every day. They have pumpkin, they have pumpkin spice latte moonshine. Uh, uh. Look at the Cedarburg Art Museum. Look at this. That's the old home. That's kind of cool. The Sisters Salon, that's inside this old home. The Mayor's Enhancement Award recipient. It's right here at the Sisters Salon. Unlock your beauty. This is one of those towns where, you know, you can sit back and you're like, you know what, I could see myself living there. It's a nice little community. It's not far from big cities. It's only, what are we, not even 20 minutes away from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Um, which is only, what, maybe about an hour and a half from Chicago. And so, you know, you can be out here in the country in a very historic town, um, but still not, not be a bit away from the big city uh, too far. So here's another shot of it. Now we're on the same side of the street as the city hall. I like that they've got these signs kind of all over town kind of historic Cedarburg and talk about the, the rich historic area. So here's one of the bridges that I was talking about. Um, this is the old railroad bridge. Did, did you sneeze, Bibby? Bless you. So this is the Interban Bridge and uh, this used to be a train bridge, and a train used to go all the way through here. I think they said something about something like once an hour or something like that. It was something crazy. Here, hold on. Yeah. Every hour with precise regular, like, regular, I can't say regularity. the word. Regular, regularity. Regularity. Thank you. My gosh. The Milwaukee Northern Railroad interurban train ran over this steel truss bridge. So, once an hour. And it's no longer, they took out the railroad tracks and they have turned it into a pedestrian bridge. So, then that one must be the covered one that's not covered anymore. Uh, I don't know, there was three bridges on that. One, thing. two, three. Oh yeah. Oh, look at that cute little puppy right there, look at him. Isn't he adorable? Looks like wishbone. Mm -hmm. And I think Becky and I are going to be, oh, and Vivian, I'm sure, we're going to be coming back to some of the other festivals that they have here. What do you think? They got like a Christmas festival, you said, or yeah, something like that? And then them up and they got a you. strawberry festival. So, so, yeah, we'll find out when the other festivals are and we'll uh, wind up coming back to Cedarburg because it's a great little town and like I said, I think they have Someone, six festivals. No. Someone's Wi-Fi yeah? is FBI surveillance van number seven. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> okay, welcome. To, okay, here are, the, here are the ones. They have a winter festival, a cedar brew festival, a strawberry festival, a wine and harvest festival, an Oktoberfest, and a Cedarburg Christmas festival. So we might just come back here for the Christmas festival. Oh, I'm definitely coming. Back. Yeah. So we got a couple things else going for uh, coming up here. Uh, Vivian's birthday is coming up here in just a couple weeks. And uh, we're going to go back to Great America and we're going to check out Fright Fest. She and doesn't want to. She doesn't want to? Or do you, you don't want to go now? No? Uh -huh. She saw the huh. commercials. But we're going to go to the through, uh, at daytime where it's not so scary. We'll okay? talk about it. We'll talk about it. All right. Well. It, we might do that then, we might not, I don't know. All right, but we got some other cool stuff too. We'll come here for the Christmas festival. We will also, uh, Great America for the first time ever is doing a holiday festival. Uh, How far is Branson from us? And at Branson, Missouri, I wanna say it's like three and a half 
maybe four hours? No, I think it's way more than that. You think it's, the, I don't know, from Chicago? That's super distant. I don't know, we'll look that up. We'll find that out. Because they apparently have some incredibly beautiful um, Christmas lights. Ah. And considering that I only have about three more weeks of work. That's right, until you're off for like three months. Yeah. Yeah, Becky, uh, I think we're parked over here, yeah. Yeah, Becky, uh, Becky's job, uh, she, it's, it's basically seasonal. Yeah. So if she's off for, from all like November, winter. yeah, all of winter, from like November 1st until... March. March. So... Middle of March. Yeah, so... But it's kind of a cool gig, because she still gets paid a little bit. <laughs> So that makes it nice. So we'll get to do a lot more Christmas stuff and I get to do a lot more arts and crafts and I get to do a lot more stuff. And I have so many things planned and I know I'm not going to be able to do any of them. I'm going <laughs> to sit on the couch and yeah. probably watch so far. All right. Well, let's go, let's go ahead and get in the car. We just made it back to the car. There you go. So we left Oktoberfest. And we did not eat there because, well, number one, we weren't all that hungry while we were at Oktoberfest. But uh, also, almost everything there has pork in it. Of course, the bratwursts and different things like that. So we decided to come over to the, uh, one of the next towns over and come to a place called Remington's River Inn. Uh, and it, what's, what town is this? It, Thineville. Th is it Thineville? T-H-E-I-N. Uh, let's go on into a uh, Remington Rivers Inn and check this place out. So here is the ah, I got light on my. So here is the uh, menu for Remington's River Inn. They got different, all different kind of wines. Getting a weird light reflection here. They got shiny menus. We got appetizers. I think we're gonna try the mozzarella logs, which are right there. Um, homemade soups and chili salads. On the back, we got pizza. It's not Friday, otherwise we'd be might might, be, might have been doing the fish fry. The different meatloaf sandwiches and fish sandwiches, and Reuben's and burgers. House favorites. The desserts. They got chocolate lava cake and cheesecake pie. No cheesecake. Oh, cheesecake. Slash pie. Slash pie. Now I see it. Okay. All right. So, uh, Vivi's doing uh, chicken strips. And uh, Becky's doing French onion soup, I believe. Yep. And I'm going to check out our burger. I'm going to do a uh, build your own burger. It's probably just a cheeseburger. Put some grilled onions on it. That sounds good to me. All right. Show you what uh, show you what it looks like when the food comes. Hey, check out the place though. Look at this. This is really nice. It's kind of like a log cabin atmosphere. And they got this little cave over here. And then back over in that section is a bar. And they got like a sports bar. And uh, but over here they even got like sofas and leather couches and stuff like that. It's pretty cool. What's up? I ordered a spotted cow, which I love, but I kind of want to try a war pig salmon pants. Can you show me this on the menu? War pigs. War pigs salmon, salmon pants. pants. <laughs> but it's got uh, lager. It's a hoppy lager bursting with citrus, melon, and grape notes. It sounds kind of good. Yeah, well, it's, it's named. There's no rule pigs. that says you can't have more than one beer at once. It's yeah. There really? Is, yeah, there is a. Uh, if I want to not nap at three o'clock, yeah. I have to not only. <laughs> yeah, maybe you can look it up. <laughs> All right, Vivi got the chicken, chicken nuggets and fries. Look at this soup. That looks beautiful. And I got a burger. Cheeseburger and some tots, and these look fantastic. So let's enjoy. How are the tots, Beck? Delicious. That you just stole off my plate. <laughs> it fell. Thievery. <laughs> okay, so uh, as 
I didn't know what I was talking about. Per usual. Yeah, per usual, yeah. Um, Branson from Chicago is an eight-hour drive. Eight hours to go see Christmas lights, Becky. We've done, we've done more for less. That's true. We've driven four and a half hours to eat a cheeseburger. It's true. <laughs> That's right. So... Uh, we'll look into it. We'll look into it. Maybe we'll be going to Branson this uh, this holiday maybe, season. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I don't know. So, um, but anywho, so uh, that was Oktoberfest in Cedarburg, Wisconsin. Did you like it? Oh, it was wonderful. Yeah? Did you like it, Viv? Mm -hmm. It's a great little town, isn't it? So, it's fun. We'll um, be back for Christmas. Yeah. So, you'll see Cedarburg one more time. Uh, we'll be back around Christmas time to, to come check out their Christmas festivals. All right. So, as always, if you like what you see, please give us a big old thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe down below. And we'll see you guys next time on... Where the heck are the Albans? Bye. Bye, <laughs> Bye everyone. <laughs>